here's episode 26 of The Adventure Begins of Chaz. And I'm Jarek. And we're going to talk to you about all things nerd. So much nerd stuff. There's a lot of nerd stuff. A lot of nerd stuff. Actually, this week, not too, too many nerd things going oh. on. Thursday, September 5th, man, we got Magic the Gathering featuring this guy. Yeah, we're doing a draft-style tournament again, uh, like we do every other Thursday. This time we're featuring Core 2020. It's the, uh, you know, the year-long box they give out for all the cards. So they are like, hey, these are kind of cool, and this is kind of what we're going with for the year. $15, uh, you get three packs, so you draft a 40-card deck, and you see who's the best. $15, little man, put them cards in my hand. Let's match glove. Yes. Magic <laughs> Friday, September 6th, man, we got Hero Clicks Casual Play with Nerd Thug Radio. Nerd Thug Radio. <laughs> yeah, at 9.30, they're coming in playing Hero Clicks, so you can click all your heroes and have them do hero clicky things. That's right. Yeah. Apparently, Robin beats up Superman. I think it was the other way around. I thought, like... Superman is destroyed. Know, he's coming back for revenge. Dude. Oh, that's what it this is. This is part yeah. two of the museum heist featuring Robin. Is he, red, is he Red Hood at that point? No, he's still Robin. He's just Robin? Okay, yeah. making sure. Still got his tighties cool. on. We got a whole bunch of stuff going on Saturday, September 7th, mm -hmm. like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Meet and Play. That's going on at 2 p.m. It's the time to come on in, meet other Yu-Gi-Oh! players, learn how to play the game if you don't know what you're doing, and then just kind of grow the community. That's right, man. If your name is Yu-Gi-Oh!, please come meet us. Yeah, we'll I mean, that's... We'll play with you. Uh, that'd be kind of cool, actually. That'd be really I mean, cool. It'd be weird, but cool. Magic the Gathering, again, with this yeah, guy. More casual play. It's this time Magic the Gathering. No set format at 4 p.m. So if you want to play Standard, Commander, uh, Modern, Legacy, or you just want to play Magic and don't really care about formats, that's a great time to come on in. Uh, right. Bring some decks, meet some players, and play some Magic. That's right, man. And at 5 p.m., we've got uh, Japan Anime Games. Uh, Kevin's going to come in and demo a couple of uh, games. Yeah, is... there's a uh, Sailor Moon game he's mm -hmm. uh, going with, and also uh, Love Battle High School. Love Battle High School. Yeah. That's every... where you write a note, and you pass it to somebody that you like, and, and you circle you... yes or no. And you hope the teacher doesn't take it from you. That's right. Because now the whole class knows. Because Teacher Bill will hit you on your on your oh, knuckles yeah. with the ruler. Yeah. Yeah, he's yes. very strict about note passing at the tab. He really is, yeah. <laughs> tab high, no note passing. <laughs> That's right. 6 p.m., we got Warhammer and Tabletop Gaming. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of people coming in for that. Warhammer, as always, is always big. But uh, definitely call ahead, grab your table early, and uh, hopefully we can get you in. That's right, man. Again, man, I don't like it's... people sitting outside in the, in the rain and, and in the, the rain, snow. snow. We get yeah. snow down with here all, yeah. all the time. With all their Warhammer miniatures wishing that they could play. <laughs> My plastic is freezing, man. That's right. And yeah. <laughs> we also got an open house going on the 7th. Tell us more about that, Chess. I will, man. It starts at what? It's from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. And you're invited to our open house, which is essentially we're going to show all the parents what Parents Night Out is all about. Oh. Um, we've got young Rembrandts uh, that's going to be out. They're oh, yeah. like a big uh, yeah. artsy, crafty company, as well as Donut Crafts. These donut crafts, crafts. Yeah, they're not. I don't think. I don't know what Donuts Crafts is. I think is. it's Donuts and Crafts. Do you think so? I think they're two separate houses. It could be a craft place called Donuts. That would be kind of weird, but kind of cool. Yeah. Anyway, there will be donuts, there will be crafts, and there might be donut crafts. Donut crafts. Yeah, you can make your own like Ooh, donut. There things. we go. Business idea. That's right. We've got to write this down. Da Vinci Donuts here at the, yeah. the Adventure Begins. But They're, anyway, come I, out. It's your free, um, yeah, free way to kind of <laughs> see what we're doing for Parents Laid Out. Also, the donut place, Da Vinci Donuts, they were here for our grand opening party, I think. And they were a huge, huge hit. So. Is that a really? Is that a real place called? I don't know if it's Da Vinci Donuts or not. I don't know anymore. I just made that up. I uh, you got me. You man. can be a Da Vinci. You can be a Da Vinci or Michelangelo with your donuts. or Donatello or Raphael on your donuts. Turn your donut into a uh, Ninja Turtle. There we go. Anyway, <laughs> donuts. We have them. <laughs> That'd be great. We have donuts and cupcakes on everything. Cafefe and donuts. That's right. All right. So come check it out. September eighth, which is a Sunday, we've got the D and D Junior. Junior Adventures League, everybody. Yeah. It's going on at 4 p.m., goes till 8, and it's a $5 buy-in for ages 10 to 16. It's a great way to get kids in, play D&D &D with other, you know, like-aged kids, and then, you know, keep the hobby going. That's we right. are still looking for DMs, too, so if you are a, you know, in the area, you do like to be a dungeon master for D&D, &D, come on in, talk to us, we'll see if we can get you set up. And you have to sign up early. There's an online yeah. sign-up. Give us a call here at the store, because... Yeah. We don't know how to get to the online sign-up yeah. as of right now, but we should. We should soon. hear soon. Yeah. 
You should put yeah. that in the shift note. Hey, this is how you do the online sign up. Yeah, that would be Daisy. nice. That would be nice. If anybody's watching out there. Monday, September 9th, Miniature Mondays. Yeah. So this is a uh, day to come on in, paint some miniatures, bring your own miniatures, okay. and uh, learn tips and tricks. Oh, we got a lot of kids who come in, so no matter how tall or short you are. Yeah. It's open up. Tall, short, round, skinny, young, old, invisible, invisible even. Come on in, paint your miniatures, let's go. That's right. Tuesday, September 10th, a Pokemon casual play. Yeah. That's right. Playing Pokemon. At 4 p.m. It's pretty casual. It's casual. And they're going to play. Wear a tie if you want. Yeah, 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 black tie formal. Not optional. Yeah. Optional, let's be real. White socks, black shoes, black pants. There you go. It's always um, classy. Flip-flops? Of course. Always. Yeah, dude. White socks, black flip-flops. There black you go. Pants. Black tie optional, though. Yeah. No shirt. Cover my <laughs> No <laughs> shirt. It's totally casual. It's hillbilly <laughs> casual. Hillbilly casual. And yes. Wednesday, September 11th, we've got uh, Beast Boy. Doing a demo of Unstable Unicorns. This has been a huge game in store. I know it's one we can hardly keep track of. Mm -hmm. uh, we can, we're always getting more copies in. Um, you're playing like a bunch of unicorns, trying to get more unicorn friends together to get points. Uh, and you're trying to thwart your other unicorn rivals as well. Um, pretty cool. It's going out at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Spencer's hosting it. I definitely recommend coming on in. It's a great party game. That's right, man. It's a strategic game where yeah. you could lose all of your friends in one fell swoop. Yeah, that's, that's both right. in the game and then in real life. Exactly. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun. So we, <laughs> when you lose all your friends, it's a lot of fun. I mean, life just opened up at that point. Uh, September 18th, we've got the big Spider-Man number one Ooh. by J.J. and Henry Abrams. we got that big party going on. How many lens flares do they think are going to be in this comic? It, it's it's all a lens flare. It's all just one big just lens flare? Through, yeah. Oh, it's so like each page is like a different like lens segment. Oh, okay, that makes yeah, sense. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. it's going to feature um, a brand new villain. Ooh. I think his name is Cadaverous. Ooh. And uh, a lot of variant covers. We're going to give out some party covers that you only get at party stores. Yeah. Because when you think party, you think of the adventure begins. Always. And Spider Man's going to be here. Oh, yeah. Spider Man's going to be, be here. It's going to be cool. Apparently, he's not doing cartwheels or flips or anything. He's a lazy Spider-Man, but still Spider-Man nonetheless. I mean, it's, it's his it's day like, off. Yeah, it's like Spider-Man from, um, it's Peter B. Parker, <laughs> or he's going to be wearing sweats and stuff, I think. I don't know. It's a day off. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. And September 21st, I cannot wait for this day. I'm super excited. It's International Batman Day. It's going to be fun. It's going to be, now this is going to be This is going to be really cool. This is going to be really awesome. cool. Oh, man. Not only are we not going to have donuts, but we're going to have cupcakes. Ooh. And we have right. balloons, too? Probably. Perfect. Knowing our events team, we'll have balloons all over the place. Shout out to you, too. That's right. Yep. We're going to have uh, cats in costume. Maybe, but like cats, I mean people. Actual people in costumes. Maybe yeah. small cats in costume. Bring your cat in costume. Yeah, why not? We're going to have a costume contest. You get to meet Batman. And from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., you get to hang out with the only automobile that matters. Yeah. The 66 Batmobile. So I know we've had a lot of questions. Uh, is there, do you have to pay to get your picture taken with the Batmobile? No, you do not have to pay. Ooh. Uh, you cannot get inside and take a picture. That makes sense. Yeah. That you makes just sense. stand next to it and be like, yeah. Dude, I mean, either way, one, That's the best, be awesome. one of the best cars out there. Yeah, it just looks really cool. Plus, we've got uh, two different Batman variants that we're going to give away mm -hmm. for the party only. And, uh, so that's going to be a raffle. You get a ticket when you buy something. Yep. If you come in costume, you Ooh. get an extra ticket. Even better. Yeah, more chances to win those uh, two variants. So that's going to be really cool, man. I'm looking forward to it. So for the raffle, do I need to buy comics only, or is that anything in store? I believe it's anything in store. Ooh, even better. And is there Maybe. a minimum? I don't know. Ooh. I don't know these weird. questions. It's such a big party. We don't know. I'm too excited to find all about There's it. so much going on. So check this out. How about this? We'll have more information about the raffle tickets next time. For sure. Yeah. So that's your events for this week, man. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Just scroll on through. We'll Keep on there. watching. We're, we'll be here. Don't <laughs> worry. Here are your key issues for September 4th, 2019. We got Spawn issue 300. Not many indie comics get to this number, so it's going to be a special week for this book. Plus, McFarlane is back doing all the artworks and things. There's going to be tons of variants. And it's a big old 72-page book for, like, I think $7.99. So get your money's worth. House of X number four. These things are flying off the shelf. Like I said last week, we open at 11. So get here early. 
Champions number seven. The series is about to come to a big end. And Miles Morales makes an appearance. So um, this issue is going to fly off the shelf as well. Absolute Carnage Scream number two. This is a killer tie-in to the whole Absolute Carnage uh, series. And uh, this book is getting a lot of traction. Deceased, A Good Day to Die, issue number one. Mr. Terrific assembles a motley group of superheroes to fight against the growing mob of dead superheroes. I'll find out who this new Justice League is going to be. This is going to be a fun book. <laughs> new series and one shot starting this week. Alpha Flight True North, Batman vs. Ra's al Ghul, Battle Pug, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, Spider-Man Going Big, and Web of Black Widow, number one. This is going to be a really cool series as well. Those are your issues for this week, man. We'll see you back here next time. Hey guys, welcome back to another Tab Talk. I'm Jarek, as always, and today we're going over how to get into Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, D&D is a really easy game to get into when you're first starting out, because Wizards of the Coast has produced a lot of really good starter kits, such as the Stranger Things starter kit. You see the links right here. Uh, it's going to include basic character sheets, a well-done story for you to play through, as well as instructions on how to do exactly everything you need to do, whether you're a dungeon master or a player playing the game. Afterwards, I always recommend getting into the core rule books themselves, such as the Player's Handbook, which is going to be the base book everyone really should have, whether you're a player or a DM. Then we have the Dungeon Master's Guide and the Monster Manual. Those are your three core books that no matter what you do, no matter what you play, Dungeons & Dragons will always work out for you, especially in 5th edition. So those are the top three books. If you are trying to get in, put them top, up there. These are the ones you want. Afterwards, I always then recommend, once you kind of know the rules and what you're doing, getting into the actual hardcover stories for the game. This can be stuff such as the Waterdeep Dragon Heist or the Dungeon of the Mad Mage, which are the most recent hardcover adventures that uh, you know, Wizards of the Coast has produced. Once you do that, the last thing you're really going to need, like officially, is dice. Uh, and that is up to you on what kind of dice you get. The colors are you know, all over the place, and it's really just a personal taste as to what kind of dice strikes out to the most. I recommend Chessex. It's what we carry in store. It's going to have seven dice, one of each type, except for the tens, which you have two of for percentages. There'll be everything you need to get started with your dice. Uh, there's no such thing as too much dice. Don't ever, don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. Um, there's just something cool about having a whole bunch of plastic clicky clacky math rocks that kind of just, it's cool, I guess. Yeah. So really, this is everything you need to get into Dungeons & Dragons. Stuff like miniatures, uh, set pieces, other, everything else are just added flair to kind of you know, further engross you into the game. So once you have these kind of things, you're all set and you're ready to play Dungeons & Dragons. Are you a nerd? Do you have kids? Well, guess what? We've got gold books. we got the perfect thing for you. we got stuff like, you know, I am a Sith. And Super Pets. And a lot more going on here with a little golden book display. That's right, man. So get in and collect all your golden books. We have a whole bunch of Star Wars, a whole bunch of Super Friends, a whole bunch of nerd stuff. Perfect for the little nerds. And a lot of Disney things, man. A lot of Disney things. So come in, get your favorite book. We're eating with sleep. Good way to start them off right. Sure. Hey. As we all know, man, this Wednesday is September 11th. Yep. Yeah, so for anyone who is out there helping out or anyone who was affected by the 9-11 disaster, you send thoughts and prayers your way and we you know, say thank you very much for your sacrifices and your assistance. So remember, kids, you don't have to be a superhero to be a Wonder Woman or a Superman. Just don't be a butthead. We'll see you guys next week and the adventure begins. See you, nerds. We know what we're doing. It's great. It's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Three? Yeah. <and> September. <laughs> 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 Batman versus Raza. Oops. Raza, oops. oops. <laughs> Here are your issues. Here are your issues for this week. First of all, Jackie's a. <laughs> Second of all, Karen should not wear her hair like that. <laughs>